Catherine from Jane Catherine on Books and I'm here with book a day and it's day 27 day 27 and it's also haircut day so I'm getting it out of the way first so you've seen it now I started trying to cut my hair and it went a bit disaster so yeah so it's now shaved quite short but it'll grow there's worse things happened at sea there's a lot worse going on in the world at the moment than me having very very short hair uh, I used to have it very very short when I was 18 but that was a long time ago I'm not sure the short hair goes with the wrinkles but anyway here we go today's book this is a lovely one not heard much about this on a booktube so I thought I would let you into this little beauty the heart of hearing heartbeats this is by Jan Philip Sendker and this is set in Burma and oh it's just a beautiful beautiful story and um, this is about a young blind man's journey through um, through his life really he um, he wasn't um, born blind I don't think he was born blind I don't think so and it's how then that other senses take over because they always say that don't they that other senses take over and his auditory his hearing senses um, is something that becomes increased and something that he can listen out for and um, it's just it's just so heartwarming it says when a successful New York lawyer suddenly disappears without a trace neither his wife nor his daughter Julia has any idea where he might be until they find a love letter he wrote many years ago to a Burmese woman intent on solving the mystery and coming to terms with her father's past Julia decides to travel to the village where the woman lived there she uncovers a tale of unimaginable hardship resilience and passion that will change her life forever a poignant and heartwarming love story the art of hearing heartbeats will reaffirm your belief in the resilience of the human heart so yeah i think it's uh, time that it had a little bit of love and uh, more people uh, know about it and uh, see if it's something you'd like to put on your list but that's today's uh, book of the day so there we go with that now yesterday's um, bookshelf challenge was the word tragedy I wish we'd have stopped with code <laughs> because oh because I can't find anything tragedy wise anyway I've done the next best thing I'll give you Romeo and Juliet so this is definitely one of Shakespeare's most well-known tragedies and this is from a lovely little book set uh, for children and um trying to think whose press it is I'm trying to think now orchard books orchard book press it's the um little orchard book press we've even got little pictures inside of the characters so there we go that's the nearest i could get romeo and juliet tragedy okay let's let's hope we get something something half decent today I'm keeping going because some of these are just adjectives you couldn't even use at all deep so today's word is deep so let's dig deep and look into our bookshelves and see what we can find that's got deep in the title um can't think if there's anything a really deep pond i suppose if we pushed it for something as a pictorial uh, but let's see if we can find something with deep in and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.